story structure is deceptively simple. There are many templates out there, many of them with years of wisdom behind them. And they are all useless, unless you understand what their parts truly represent. Pixar suggests the following story structure. Once upon a time, there was every day, one day, because of that, because of that, until finally... Well, rather than blindly trying to fill the blanks, let's try to understand each part of this formula. This formula starts with, once upon a time there was a hero, someone we can relate to. This refers to the introduction of a lonely robot or an independent ant. Every day, this is our glimpse into their world. Every day Wally would compact garbage into little boxes. Every day Flick and the other ants would gather food for the grasshoppers who threatened them. But that's not enough. What did these heroes yearn for? Every day Wally watched Hello Dolly, hoping to feel love. Every day Flick wanted to make a difference, to stand out within the colony, only to meet failure and ridicule. One day, a fairy tale way to call the infamous inciting incident. Simply put, this is the event that changes everything. Wally meets a fellow robot and falls in love with her. Flick is expelled from the colony, with the task of saving it from the grasshoppers. Because of that, a chain of events that is the result of the decision the hero made when faced with the inciting incident. It's important to note the difference between because of and after that. A chronological list of events that happen one after another isn't a story, it's a report. A good story has events chained by causation. Because Flick attempts to stand out, he ruins the offering. Because of that, the grasshoppers threaten the colony. Because of that, the colony sends Flick away. Because of that, he recruits new bugs, entertainers he mistakes for warriors. Because of that, they are there to help the colony. Because of the applause these actors receive, they choose to stay and continue pretending despite the danger, and so on. A good story should feel unexpected, but inevitable. As if from the second a specific inciting incident happened to a specific hero, everything that follows just had to happen. Until finally, something irreversible happened something that changes both our hero and his world. Wally finds a true connection with Eva and returns to Earth to live with her and with a generation of born-again humans who renew the Earth. Flick manages to get rid of the grasshoppers for good and also changes the colony as they adopt his modern methods. The resolution must aspire to change both the hero and the world around it. That's part of why endings are so hard. Audiences are more sophisticated than ever Show them a grumpy old man in the first act, and they assume he will soften up to someone by the end of the movie. Show them two toys fighting with each other, and they know they'll become partners. For Flick to win back his colony, he needs to destroy Hopper. We know that from the beginning of the film. The harder we make his way there, the darker the moments leading up to it, the deeper the shame and self-doubt he feels when he fails, the more satisfying his victory will be. And that victory should require all of his power, every ounce of his bravery. If you were writing Bug's Life, you would know from day one the ending would involve Flick outsmarting Hopper. Then you'd have to figure out how and work back from that. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Pixar Storytelling Rules. In the next episode, we're going to talk about believable characters. Don't forget to subscribe and visit our website at bloopanimation.com.